everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Rachel and I'm here to help you get the most from your makeup. I love doing project pans and I'm doing a no buy next year but for the whole year. So if you like stuff like that, please do subscribe to the channel to see more. And today I'm going to be calculating how many years of eyeshadow I actually own. This is an idea I got from a subscriber, a very kind subscriber, linked to me a Reddit um, thread. I don't know what they're called, I'm not really a user of Reddit. Um, and I've seen a couple of other creators doing this as well and I thought it'd be a great idea ahead of my upcoming year-long no buy I thought this would be great for motivation for inspiration and to just kind of give me that reality check that I need just to give me that extra boost to start the year I am actually really excited to do it now and I would love to start now but the perfectionist in me likes to go from December uh, from January the 1st all the way through to the end of December so I kind of want to do it in that way because then it's a lot easier to kind of track my progress and just for you guys to keep up with if you want to or if you want to join in you can do so let's just get started with it it's basically a spreadsheet that was in a makeup rehab I think spread on Reddit, I don't even know what they're called. I have absolutely no idea what the threads on Reddit are called. Is it a subreddit or something? Um, anyway, th there was a link to a spreadsheet where you could enter all of the, um, the palettes that you own or the amounts of product that are in there and just give basic information like how often you use eyeshadow and how many sorts of colors you would use or tend to use on a daily basis. So, I will put a little screenshot of my um, spreadsheet just here. Let me move over and make room for it. Otherwise, editing me is not going to be happy. Um, <laughs> um, so, I've only included my actual bona fide palettes. I've not included my kind of Z palette, which is just singles. And I've not included any other singles that I have elsewhere, you know, in little compacts or wherever. I just thought that that would make things too complicated and take too long. So, I've just gone off my actual bona fide palettes that have come in palette form to begin with and plus I kind of knew that it'd be a lot to begin with so I didn't want to make it seem worse than it is um yeah optimist <laughs> so the way I've worked it is I did calculate all of my sorry I'm looking at my phone I've got a note here of everything so what I've done is I've I have a total of 23.9 ounces of shadow contained in a palette form, quints, quads and trios and that's how I've worked it. Any small baby palettes that I've got have been included because I do still count them as a palette and sometimes if I'm going overnight to somewhere I will just take a trio or a quad with me because it's a lot smaller, it just fits in a really compact makeup bag so I tend to do that. And it bases the calculation on how often you wear eyeshadow and it has like a standardised average amount that the usual person would use. Obviously it's impossible to know how much you actually use unless you've got a lab and you go really into detail but we're just going to assume for this that I use the average amount of eyeshadow. So I would on average use three or four eyeshadows, sometimes five but that's not as often but I think I generally use three or four eyeshadows per look and I will wear makeup for a minimum of six days a week, usually seven. I do like to um, be kind of old school and go out with a face on. It's not a confidence issue or anything. I just like being made up. I like it, the process of getting made up. Obviously, the less days of the week that you wear eyeshadow and the less shadows you use, the longer your collection is going to last you because it's presumed that you're using less of that product. Now another note that I will say is this is making the assumption that all of these palettes are brand new and have never been used. Whereas the likes of my Jaclyn Hill palette which I've depotted, you can see I've got a lot of use in that. I've also got a lot of use in my Modern Renaissance palette. There's pan on at least half of the shades in that one and I have made quite a lot of headway with my original chocolate bar palette I've hit pan on four shades in that so I can't really obviously go through and check how much I've got left of each of these palettes one it'll take too long and two I don't have precise enough equipment really to do that so it's not really doable so all of these um these numbers are based on the fact that a palette is brand new which most of them aren't so it probably wouldn't be quite as long as these numbers that I'm going to tell you but just thought that I'd best just put that out there because obviously 
these formulas within the spreadsheet do make a number of assumptions. So the shortest amount of time that I that my shadows would last for is based on seven days a week wear, which is quite typical for me usually, um, with four eyeshadow shades, which again is quite typical. Sometimes I use a little bit less, sometimes I use a little bit more, maybe five shadows, but generally on a day-to-day -day basis, I would use probably about four. So based on seven days a week wear with four shadows, my eyeshadow collection in palette form would last me 23 years. That's if I don't buy another single shadow. Which is quite shocking actually because if I um, go down to six days a week, which sometimes I may not wear makeup on a Sunday if I'm not going out anywhere, sometimes I'll just give my skin a day off just to recuperate and to breathe if you like. So six days a week wear with four shadows again would be 27 years. So just based on one less day of the week, I am getting four more years out of my eyeshadow collection there. And then if we go down to three shadows per look, seven days a week wear would take that up again to 30 years. And then six days a week with three shadows would be 36 years. So the longest that based on how I wear eyeshadow, because I am quite consistent with the way I wear eyeshadow, I will wear it every single day, usually again using the same amount of shadows, unless I'm doing something really quite complicated or intricate, um, it would be three or four shadows and six or seven days of the week. So the longest that my shadow collection would last me is 36 years and the shortest is 23 years. Now, if I just let that sink in for a moment, let me just get my calculator out. If I never buy another palette, um, my eyeshadow collection will last me minimum until I'm 51 years old <laughs> and maximum until I'm 64 years old. Now I hope I'm still rocking the eyeshadow when I'm 64 years old but I kind of hope it's not the eyeshadow that I already own because I think it will be kind of rancid by then but that is a massive reality check to me. I literally do not need to ever buy eyeshadow ever again probably and I don't want to waste what I've already got and I think that a certain amount of it will be wasted. It's unrealistic to expect that I'm going to get all of that used up. I think I just do have too much. I think this was a really important exercise for me, especially going forward with my no buy. I've got those numbers in my head. I actually think I'm going to get them printed off and put them on the wall somewhere just so that it's always in the forefront of my mind actually how much I own and I think that will help me keep in the mindset of well, that's one area that I certainly do not need to replace anything if I use it up. Um, if I did use up the likes of my Modern Renaissance palette and I used it up completely, would I want to buy it again? Yes, I would. It's just because it is a palette that I absolutely adore and I don't think there's, for me, any any duplicate for that. Also, the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows are really, really small. They're about 0.8 grams, I think, instead of the average like MAC eyeshadow being 1.5 grams, so they're nearly twice the size. So there is that, but just based on my numbers, I absolutely never need to buy eyeshadow again. Now, I think that a lot of people will have a higher number than me. I don't have any massive, massive, massive collection of eyeshadow palettes or anything, but I wouldn't say that I've got a small collection either. I certainly don't want it to grow. I don't want to have more eyeshadow than I know what to do with. I am trying to keep on top of things and try and keep my collection usable and enjoyable. And I think that my eyeshadow palettes are at a level that if it gets much bigger, I don't think I could cope with it. The same with foundations, which obviously you use up a lot quicker than an eyeshadow anyway. So I think it will be easier to get that area under control within the next year. So that's my plan. I really encourage you guys to do this as well. I will leave a link down below into the worksheet that you can use if you want to do it as well. And if you do, let me know. Let me know what your number is. Maybe it will make me feel bad. Maybe it will make me feel better. I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that a lot of us will have a lot more than we know what to do with. So do it if you dare and I will love to hear your responses. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.